so how it work is if i change the month from may to june so you can see based on our selection the calendar has been updated hi everyone welcome to excel dose in today's video i will show you how to create a dynamic calendar in google sheet like this so let's get started with the video to create a dynamic calendar first what we have to do is we have to mention here the year so the year will be 2023 and then we have to mention the month for the month i will create a drop down to create a drop down what we have to do is simply click on the data then click on the data validation and then click on add rule and then for the criteria we have to select the drop down from a range because i have mentioned all the months here in this particular range and then click here and then again click here and then select the complete range so i will select the complete range and then click on ok and then click on done and now i will close this one so now you can see we are getting here the drop down and i will select here the month as may and now here we have to get the month as well as the year to get the month and year what we have to do is we have to simply use one of the function which is like a date value and then first parameter here will be one and then m percent and then the month and again we have to select the year and then simply press the enter button now you can see it's showing as a number format to change this into the month and year what we have to do is we have to simply click on the format and then click on the numbers and then click on the custom date and time and then simply select the month as well as the year right and then click on the apply button now you can see we are getting the month and year now to get the day of the month what we have to do is we have to use here the another function which is like a sequence and then we have to mention here the number of weeks so the number of weeks will be six and then we have to mention the number of days so number of days will be seven and then here we have to select comma this particular cell which is like we have mentioned the month and year and then minus and then weekday and then again we'll select this cell which is like a month and year and then press comma then one for the increment plus one and then close the bracket to change this into the number format what we have to do is we have to select complete this data and then click on the format then click on number and then click on the number format and then here in the custom number format we have to mention the d and then click on the apply the moment you click on the apply you can see that particular number format it change into the number of days right now you can see we have selected the month as uh, may but it also showing the data for the april as well as for the june right to show only the data for the may what we have to do is again we have to select complete data then click on the format now this time we have to click on conditional formatting and here we have to select the custom formula so in the custom formula we have to mention one of the formula which is like a equal to month and then the start of this range which is like a c6 so that is like a c6 i will mention here then close the bracket and then not equal to again month and then here we have to select this particular range which is like a c4 i will lock this one also and then close the bracket and for the text color i will mention it as a white and for the background also i will mention it as a white so that we can hide remaining days right and then simply click on the done so now you can see we our dynamic calendar has been updated so if i change this the month from may to july so you can see the remaining days has been hide however it is showing the data only for the july month so this is how you can create a dynamic calendar in google sheet i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe to excel dose thank you so much for watching